Hello everyone, I'm Charles Adams. I'm the Dean of the Judy Genshaft Honors College, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to this virtual version of our Judy Genshaft Honors College commencement celebration. I wish that I could be with you today to offer my congratulations in person and help you celebrate this momentous occasion, but COVID-19 has forced us to take another path and we'll make the very best of it that we can. I wanna start our celebration by thanking a couple of very special groups of people. The first is the faculty, advisors, and staff of the Judy Genshaft Honors College. I know that you appreciate the support that they've provided in helping you get to this point in your life. In fact, some of them have recorded video messages to you, offering their congratulations and best wishes. Let's take a look. Congratulations on graduating. The only thing better than being a student in the Judy Genshaft Honors College is being an alumni. Congratulations and go Bulls. Congratulations, grads. We are so proud of you and so excited to join your friends and family in celebrating you today. Congratulations, all of you graduates of the Judy Genshaft Honors College, especially those of you from USF St. Petersburg. You should be really proud of your accomplishments. We wish you all the best as you head out into the world. Stay in touch with us. Congratulations, seniors. We're so very proud of you and your perseverance to get through this. We have best wishes for you for the future, and I know that you'll do great things. Again, congratulations. Congratulations on your many accomplishments, and thank you for sharing your journey with us. Congratulations. Best wishes for your next adventure. Congrats, graduates. Congratulations, Honors Bulls. We are so proud of your hard work to get to today, and we are celebrating you from afar. Congratulations again, and go Bulls. Hi, Honors Bulls. Congratulations on a job well done. It's been a pleasure to work with you for the past few years, and I can't wait to see what the world has in store for you. Congratulations. I'm proud of you guys. Go Bulls. I'm thrilled to celebrate the achievements of all of our new graduates, and I'm so eager to keep hearing about your new adventures in store. Congratulations. Hi, Honors Grads. Congrats on graduating, so exciting. We really miss seeing you all every day. We're gonna to continue to miss you as you go on to do bigger and better things. We just can't wait to see what you do next. Beloved graduates of the Judy Genshaft Honors College, congratulations on a degree well earned. As you move forward in the pursuit of higher education or a career, hold fast to a purpose greater than yourself and know that while the journey will sometimes feel lonely, you are never alone. Hey Honors Grads, congratulations on your graduation. Don't forget where you came from because the Honors College has set you up for so much success in your future. I can't wait to see what you do next. Go Bulls! A special congrats to all the graduating students, wishing you only the best in this next chapter. Go Bulls! Congratulations Honors College graduates. We are so proud of you and look forward to seeing all of the great things that you do in the future. Congratulations. Congratulations Honors Bulls. I know this graduation may not be what you envisioned, but we are so unbelievably proud of you and happy to celebrate with you. Congrats again, go Bulls. You have overcome very much and you have risen to the challenge. Please let us know how we can still be a part of your journey going forward. Best wishes. Those were great. Thank you all. The second group of people that I want to recognize today are the supporters of each and every one of you. The parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, and friends. The whole team that's helped you get to this point. My wife and I supported two daughters through college a number of years ago, and we know what it takes to build a successful college career. It takes a lot of people. It takes those late night phone calls offering moral support, the care packages that arrive during exam week, those few extra dollars that come in at just the right moment. All of these things and so many more are part of your success. And we wanna say thank you to all those who've contributed. We're very grateful. And now it's time to celebrate you, the Judy Genshaft Honors College Class of 2021. Thank you to all of you who submitted photos and biographical information for our ceremony today. A couple of words of explanation before we begin. I'm going to be mentioning a couple of special awards. The first is the Dean's Circle of Merit. This is given to a few students who have excelled in four areas of central importance to the college. Leadership, research, service, and global experience. 
The other is the King O'Neill Award. This is given to students who have maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA through their undergraduate career at USF. That's wonderful. Congratulations to all of you. Before we start though, take a look at this beautiful Judy Genshaft Honors College medallion earned by each of our graduates. You should have received one by now, and when your name is called today, I encourage you to either put it on yourself or ask a friend or family member to place it on you. Although we are not all together to witness you receiving your medallion, this moment is an important step in your academic journey and a significant display of your achievement. And so let's begin. Our first graduate for this ceremony is Bonutheja Madhu. He's receiving his degree in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. Bonutheja completed an honors capstone research project that studied the way spatial design impacts children's health, growth, and behavior. Bonutheja says his proudest accomplishment at USF is publishing an article related to the treatment of atherosclerosis. Bonutheja plans to continue to conduct research and attend USF for his master's in pre-professional health sciences. Congratulations, Bonutheja. Our next graduate is Bhavana Madhu. Bhavana's degree is in biomedical sciences completed on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project explored whether there is a connection between architectural design elements in psychiatric wards and patient outcomes. Bhavana says her proudest accomplishment at USF was researching at Moffitt. She plans to attend medical school. Congratulations, Bhavana. Next is Matthew Malik. He's completing his degree in biomedical sciences with minors in psychology and biomedical physics on the Tampa campus. Matthew's Judy Genshaft Honors College thesis was a retrospective study of medical records at USF Health, focusing on the several factors that prevent patients from completing colonoscopy screening. Matthew is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. He says his favorite honors memory was is meeting new people each semester and really getting to know them in the small class environments. Matthew will be attending medical school at the University of Florida. Congratulations, Matthew. Connor Mapes is taking his degree in environmental science and policy with a minor in geographic information systems on the Tampa campus. Connor completed the Judy Genshaft Honors College thesis that used GIS techniques and species niche modeling to find out which locations in Tampa Bay hold the highest risk of harboring the mosquito species that can spread the dengue virus. Connor says his favorite honors memory is the honors abroad trip to Germany in summer 2019. He hopes to attend graduate school in geography. Congratulations, Connor. Our next graduate is Melanie Margolis. Melanie is receiving her degree in Integrated Public Relations and Advertising on the Tampa campus. Her Honors College thesis analyzed how the sudden shift to remote learning created new possibilities for students. Melanie says that she is most proud of her time abroad as a Gilman Scholar. She'll start her job at a nonprofit in Montreal, Canada to work as the Head of Media and Marketing. Congratulations, Melanie. Amanda Matthews is our next graduate. Amanda is completing a biomedical sciences major with a minor in Spanish on the Tampa campus. Her honors college thesis examined the differences and similarities among the hospital patients admitted to Tampa General Hospital with gunshot wounds. Amanda's favorite honors experience was the clinical research design class she took with doctors Wilson and Baer. She says that she gained valuable clinical experience and the course sparked her interest in social medicine. She will attend medical school and hopes to end up in either a surgery or emergency medicine residency after she graduates. Congratulations, Amanda. Taylor Matson is receiving her degree in environmental biology with a minor in geographic information systems and technology on the Tampa campus. Taylor's honors thesis explored how an educational video game could influence a USF student's understanding of the impact of their personal habits on environmental issues. Taylor says her favorite honors experience was studying abroad in London in the summer of 2019 and making new friends there. Next, she will look for full-time internships or employment opportunities related to GIS and or ecological research in Florida. Congratulations, Taylor. 
Our next graduate is Abigail Mendelson. Her degree is in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. Abigail's capstone research project focused on educating the public about the work of doulas and midwives using social media, while also advocating for their role in combating maternal mortality, specifically in women of color. Abigail says her proudest accomplishment at USF was maintaining her involvement in organizations that pushed her to gain leadership experience, stay motivated in her classes, and help her become a well-rounded individual. Abigail plans to obtain clinical experience and then apply to medical school. Congratulations, Abigail. Connor Merriman is our next graduate. Connor's completing his degree on the Tampa campus with a major in biomedical sciences and a minor in public health with a concentration in infection control. His thesis analyzed the effects of infrastructure and water sanitation and hygiene guidelines on the prevalence of waterborne diseases in rural communities in the Dominican Republic. Connor's favorite honors experience was being part of the Honors LLC the last four years. He says he's been so lucky to be able to work to create an accepting and supportive community for students and has gotten so much back in return. Connor will continue to work at the University of South Florida while he applies to graduate school in the College of Public Health's Global Health Infectious Disease Department as a research associate. Congratulations, Connor. Next is Agreta Mishra. Her degree is in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology on the Tampa campus. Agreta completed a capstone research project that studied social determinant factors, specifically transportation, influencing patient attendance at Shriners Hospital. Agreta says her favorite honors experiences were all of the honors courses she was able to take with her friends and the various times spent in the honors lounge studying. Agreta plans to attend FIU's School of Medicine in the fall. Congratulations, Agreta. Our next graduate is Saifala Mohammed. He's receiving dual degrees in biomedical sciences and public health on the Tampa campus. Sefala's honors thesis explored an effective method to identify dyes which are able to detect damaged proteins relevant to many neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's. Sefala says his proudest accomplishment at USF was being accepted to the Honors College at the age of 14 and graduating three years later at the age of 17. Sefala plans to attend medical school. Congratulations, Sefala. Next is Jordan Moore, who is receiving her degree in business management on the Tampa campus. Jordan's capstone research project was a documentary about the nonprofit organization Metropolitan Ministries that explored how the organization has helped the Tampa Bay community fight homelessness and hunger. Jordan's proudest accomplishment at USF was growing her business with the skills she learned at USF. She says that in the past year, she has made close to $3,000 in online sales through her online custom handmade jewelry shop, Terrestrial Treasure. Jordan plans to run her business full-time. Congratulations, Jordan. Our next graduate is Daniel Morejon. He's completing his degree in biomedical engineering on the Tampa campus. Danny's capstone research project developed a simulation that creates areas of high and low radiation intensity for the improved radiation therapy of tumors in mice. Daniel says his proudest accomplishment at USF was being selected for the Genshaft Global Presidential Scholarship, which provided the funds for him to study abroad in Florence in the summer of 2018. He plans to work at a company that develops medical devices while attending graduate school to earn his master's degree. Congratulations, Daniel. Paula Moreno is our next graduate. Paula's degree is in biology, with a concentration in biomedical sciences and a minor in chemistry on the St. Petersburg campus. Her Judy Genshaft Honors College thesis studied the enticing mechanism of HIV at the molecular, cellular, and organismal levels. Paula says her proudest accomplishment at USF is completing an internship with a world-renowned hematologist at Moffitt Cancer Center. She plans to apply to USF's genetic counseling program to achieve a Master's of Science in Public Health with a concentration in genetic counseling. Congratulations, Paula. Next is Nicholas Morris, who is taking his degree in finance with a minor in innovation and entrepreneurship on the Tampa campus. 
Nicholas completed an honors college thesis in which he created a business plan to establish an effective parking system that alleviates many of the stresses on current local parking infrastructures. Nicholas says his favorite honors experience was working with Professor Stephen Budd on his honors thesis. Nicholas will work in the financial industry while applying to law school. Congratulations, Nicholas. Our next graduate is Caitlin Morrissey. Caitlin is completing a degree in chemical engineering on the Tampa campus. Her honors college thesis discussed the ways people experience trips abroad and contact with other cultures. Caitlin's favorite honors experience was traveling to the University of Exeter for an entire semester. She says that she had the very best time. Caitlin plans to work full time. Congratulations, Caitlin. Caitlin Moss Solomon is receiving her degree in health sciences with concentrations in biological health sciences and healthcare administration on the Tampa campus. Caitlin's capstone project helped cancer patients and survivors find reproductive alternatives after cancer by providing educational and financial resources and support. Caitlin's favorite honors experience was participating in the Asheville trip the summer before her freshman year with doctors Bingham and Young. She says that through this trip, she got to meet a few of her future peers, some of whom became her best friends. Caitlin will continue to complete her prerequisites for Physician Assistant School. Congratulations, Caitlin. Her next graduate is Mohammed Mustafa. Mohammed's degree is in Biomedical Sciences, completed on the Tampa campus. His capstone research project examined the unsafe medical and dental practices that led to a hepatitis C outbreak in Egypt. Mohammed says his proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming a chemistry peer leader. Mohammed will next apply to medical school. Congratulations, Mohammed. Our next graduate is Michael Musa. Michael's degree is in biomedical sciences with a minor in entrepreneurship completed on the Tampa campus. Michael's capstone research project explored the impact that various world affairs have had on his society and on the person that he has become. Michael is another of our King O'Neill scholars this semester, graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Michael says his two proudest accomplishments at USF were learning to express his thoughts in different forms of writing and working on a research project using mass spectrometry to test for forensic drugs. Michael plans to attend medical school. Congratulations, Michael. Hanya Mufta is our next graduate. She's completing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in art on the Tampa campus. Hanya's capstone research project was to produce a newspaper titled Quran Times that detailed current events regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Hanya is also graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Anya's favorite honors memory is attending the Little Shop of Horrors play during her freshman year for the Acquisition of Knowledge course. She'll next attend the Nova Southeastern University's College of Dental Medicine. Congratulations, Anya. Next is Delaney Mutchler, who's receiving her degree in creative writing and secondary English education on the Tampa campus. Delaney completed a departmental honors program thesis in which she interviewed five students and five educators about their experiences with how issues of race, socioeconomic status, gender, ethnicity, religion, and sexuality are addressed in schools. She then wrote original poems based on each one. Delaney is a King O'Neill Scholar, graduating this semester with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Delaney says her favorite honors memory is of a presentation she did on Green Day's American Idiot for her History of Rock and Roll class. She says she even got to dress up as Billy Joe Armstrong for it. Next, Delaney will teach for at least a year in the Hillsborough County Public School District. She plans eventually to apply to a zoology master's program since she would ultimately like to be involved in animal education. Congratulations, Delaney. Our next graduate is J.C. Napoli. J.C.'s degree is in psychology with a minor in political science and was completed on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project studied how incorporating VTS, a method of discussion about art that encourages the use of critical thinking skills, with the analysis of a dance performance could impact the quality of written reflections by students studying dance. 
JC's proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming the vice president of Panhellenic on her sorority's executive board. Through this position, she says she had the opportunity to attend multiple leadership conferences and meet Delta Gammas from around the nation. JC will be attending law school this fall to continue her journey to becoming a criminal prosecutor. Congratulations, JC. Her next graduate is Suchitha Namani. Suchitha is taking a degree in public health on the Tampa campus. In her honors college thesis, she researched the impacts of health disparities and what different healthcare initiatives are doing to reduce those inequalities. Suchitha says her proudest accomplishment at USF was getting to intern for a neuropsychologist. She plans to take a gap year after graduation and apply to medical schools while gaining experience in the healthcare field. Congratulations, Suchitha. Next is Jessica Nida. Her degree is in environmental science and policy with a minor in philosophy and was completed on the Tampa campus. Jessica's capstone project focused on leadership development, resilience theory, and a case study on urban adaptation for resilience. Jessica's proudest accomplishment at USF was her experience within the practicum. She says she was pushed not only intellectually, but also socially, which helped her develop confidence in her speaking abilities. Jessica would like to work to unify social and ecological systems to promote systemic change toward environmental sustainability while curating conscious communities. Congratulations, Jessica. Ahmed Nofal is completing his degree in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. Ahmed's capstone research project involved using two different art engagement techniques, visual thinking strategy and personal response, to determine which is more effective at reducing stress and anxiety in college students. Ahmed is a King O'Neill Scholar, graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Ahmed says his proudest accomplishment at USF was participating in the 2020 Undergraduate Research Conference, where he was able to present his research on the healthcare discrepancies Dalit women face in South Asia. He will now take a gap year before applying to medical school. He hopes to become a radiologist. Congratulations, Ahmed. Her next graduate is Esra Nofal. She's receiving her degree in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. Esra's capstone project produced a handbook on how to implement visual thinking strategies for artwork in nursing homes and or assisted living facilities based on data collected through a survey. Esra is also a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. She says her favorite honors experience was learning about different cultures through her honors courses. Esra plans to take a break and prepare herself for medical school. Congratulations, Esra. Shani Nutz is our next graduate. Shani is completing her degree in mathematics with a minor in astronomy on the Tampa campus. Her Judy Ginshaft Honors College thesis examined whether a relationship exists between implicit race bias and cognitive flexibility, that is, one's ability to rapidly switch thinking between different concepts or think about multiple concepts simultaneously. Shani says her proudest accomplishment at USF was being awarded the USF Nagel Endowed Memorial Scholarship and being accepted into graduate school. Shani plans to continue her journey at USF by working toward a master's degree in business analytics and information systems. Congratulations, Shawnee. Our next graduate is Hunter Christian O'Brien. She's receiving degrees in biomedical sciences and psychology on the Tampa campus. Hunter's capstone research project was a proposal for a grant which would fund an artificial intelligence literacy program for underprivileged Hillsborough County high school students. Hunter's favorite honors experience was taking social autopsy with Dr. Illuminaire Salem. She says, though many classes introduce readings and discussions, few create a true environment for students to feel empowered enough to exchange ideas and opinions like Dr. Salem's class did. Hunter hopes to carry her experiences at USF into a career as a physician, one who can utilize an understanding of nuance and complexity of the lives of those she hopes to heal. Congratulations, Hunter. Next is Mallory Claire Owens, who's receiving her degree in nursing on the Tampa campus. Mallory's capstone research project involved interviewing staff at clinics in Hillsborough County 
to understand who they treat, if they provide free care, and whether their patients have any type of insurance. Mallory says her favorite honors memory is traveling to the Dominican Republic and hosting medical clinics in rural areas of the country. Mallory plans to complete a nurse residency program and then work as an RN, ideally in a pediatric intensive care unit. Congratulations, Mallory. Our next graduate is Jayla Pabon. Jayla's degree is in psychology and was completed on the Tampa campus. Her honors college thesis was a literature review of perceived stress and perceived sleep quality in college students. It focused on the differences between students who had served in the military in some capacity and students who had never served in the military. Jayla's favorite honors memory is participating in the Office of Undergraduate Research's conference in the spring of 2019. She says that it was an amazing experience to present her work to students and professors alike and gave her a valuable experience in research presentation. Jayla plans to serve in the Army Reserves and apply to graduate clinical psychology programs next fall. Congratulations, Jayla. Next is Nicole Pasha. Nicole is completing dual degrees in biomedical sciences and behavioral health care with a concentration in children's mental health on the Tampa campus. Her capstone project examines students enrolled in the Judy Genshaft Honors College for their knowledge about COVID-19 and community guidelines. Nicole's proudest accomplishment at USF was participating in an internship at Suncoast Kids Place through her field experience course. She says she has been able to help many kids and their families talk about their grief and support one another. Nicole plans to earn a medical master's degree from USF before attending medical school. Congratulations, Nicole. Our next graduate is Anna Paddock. She's receiving her degree in biochemistry with a minor in environmental science and policy on the Tampa campus. Anna's honors college thesis evaluated the preparedness of the Tampa Bay community for hurricanes by examining both physical and sociological factors. Anna says her proudest accomplishment at USF was completing her honors thesis and being a resident assistant for two years. Anna plans to gain experience working in a laboratory before applying for a master's program in biochemistry. Congratulations, Anna. Her next graduate is Shreya Purek. She's receiving her degree in health science with concentrations in biological health science and health management on the Tampa campus. Shreya's capstone project examined how the visually impaired use technology to experience spaces around them. Shreya's favorite honors experience was becoming a peer mentor this past fall. She says she enjoyed getting to know 17 first year students and developing a relationship with each of them. Shreya plans to attend the Arizona College of Optometry this fall. Congratulations, Shreya. Michaela Parnell is completing her degree in environmental biology with a minor in environmental policy on the Tampa campus. Her capstone project explored resilience by studying how humans make decisions and how they think about the decisions they've made. She says resilience is one of the most important topics of environmental studies today and Tampa Bay is one of the most vulnerable cities to climate change in the country. Michaela says her favorite honors experience was helping construct and work in the Honors College Haunted House her freshman year. Michaela plans to apply to graduate school. Congratulations, Michaela. Our next graduate is Ayushi Patel. Ayushi's degree, completed on the Tampa campus, is in cell and molecular biology. Her Honors College thesis researched current scientific literature to discuss different treatment methods for adults over the age of 80 who have non-small cell lung cancer, the most common type of lung cancer. Ayushi's favorite honors experience was being part of the Honors in London study abroad trip. She says she really enjoyed getting to experience the culture, food, and architecture while traveling around the United Kingdom. Ayushi plans to apply to medical school. Congratulations, Ayushi. Charmi Patel is completing her degree in applied mathematics on the Tampa campus. She completed the capstone research project that investigated the correlation between activity-based workspaces and employee productivity and well-being. Charmi says her favorite honors experience was of Pro Professor Sakai's course titled Home, Designing Where We Live. 
She says they discussed complex ideas relating to architecture and the built environment and also constructed a 3D model of their dream house. Charmy plans to work full-time as an actuarial analyst. Congratulations, Charmy. Mihir Patel's degree is in biomedical sciences with a minor in public health completed on the Tampa campus. Mihir completed an honors college thesis that sought to understand how many pre-cancer patients completed mammogram and colonoscopy orders given by their primary care providers at Morsani College of Medicine and Tampa General Hospital. He then conducted an analysis to ascertain what demographic factors determine whether people will complete their orders. Mihir's favorite honors experience was participating in the various classes that were offered within the college. He says the small class size made it easier to collaborate with his peers, make friends, and have intriguing conversations about the various topics being studied. Mihir plans to go to medical school. Congratulations, Mihir. Our next graduate is Nirjari Patel. She's completing a degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology on the Tampa campus. Her honors college thesis studied the role of family environmental factors in mediating between parental anxiety and depression symptomology on the one hand and child anxiety and depression on the other. Nirjari says her proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming a peer leader for general chemistry. She plans to apply to medical school with the goal of becoming a psychiatrist or child psychiatrist. Congratulations, Nirjari. Shreya Patel's degrees are in English Literature and Integrative Human Biology, completed on the Tampa campus. Her departmental honors thesis explored how trauma responses and acts of resistance are side effects of global capitalism and neocolonialism, as seen in the works of Arundhati Roy and Karen Te Yamashita. Shreya says her proudest accomplishment at USF was helping to lead the university's chapter of Partners in Health in doing advocacy work to reduce health disparities and providing community education and engagement surrounding global health. Shreya will pursue a career in pediatric oncology while also engaging with the fields of global child health and the medical humanities. Congratulations, Shreya. Netra Patil is our next graduate. Netra is finishing her degree in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. In her capstone project, she worked to make Pinellas County's historical resources more reflective of the diversity of its community and more available to citizens and scholars worldwide by developing new knowledge, narratives, and online exhibits. Netra's fav favorite honors experience was serving on the Honors Student Council. She says that having the opportunity to organize events such as International Day and Haunted House in collaboration with amazing honors faculty and students was such an enriching and enjoyable experience. Netra will be attending the University of Florida's College of Dentistry. Congratulations, Netra. Paige Payne is our next graduate. Paige is completing her degree in marine biology and environmental science and policy on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project explored how a lack of transportation affects the ability of families to secure food from stores or food pantries, especially during COVID-19. Her team's proposed solutions to this challenge included a new food pantry location in the University Mall area, which is in the process of being redeveloped. Paige's favorite honors experience was studying abroad in Peru with Dr. Bush's Geographies of Transformation course in May of 2019. She says she was able to witness the effects of climate change firsthand, meet and communicate with indigenous Peruvians working to preserve the traditions of their ancestors and learn more about her own spirituality and connection with nature. Paige is being initiated into the Ada of Florida chapter of Phi Beta Kappa this semester. She'll be applying to environmental science master's programs in Florida to continue her education. Congratulations, Paige. Her next graduate is Lillian Grace Pennick. She's receiving her degree in biomedical engineering on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project focused on the challenges of traffic congestion on USF's Tampa campus. Lillian says her favorite honors experience was of studying abroad on an honors trip to Japan in 2018. She plans to attend graduate school in either biomedical engineering or mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Lillian. Our next graduate is Romil Batale. 
who was completing his degree in psychology on the Tampa campus. Ramil completed an honors college thesis that addressed factors that contribute to disparities between racial and ethnic groups with regard to Alzheimer's disease. Ramil says his favorite honors experience was getting to work and connect with two students from Colombia as part of Operation Global Action. Ramil hopes to attend medical school. Congratulations, Ramil. Our next graduate is Catherine Poviones. Her degree, completed on the Tampa campus, is in political science with a minor in sociology. Her capstone project analyzed news and information outlets to create weekly team presentations exploring current news events and various civic institutions. Catherine says her proudest accomplishment at USF was maintaining a high GPA while being involved in extracurriculars and working. Catherine hopes to secure a position in the government affairs or legal field while pursuing a master's in public policy. Congratulations, Catherine. Our next graduate is Mabel Proenza. She's completing her degree on the Tampa campus with a double major in international studies and world languages and cultures with a double concentration in Chinese and French. Her capstone research project uh, documented human rights violations against the, the Uyghur minority in Xinjiang, China, including mass detentions and arrests, displacement of Uyghur Muslims, land confiscations, disappearances, and the creation of forced labor camps under the guise of re-education efforts to combat terrorism. I'm pleased to announce that Mabel has been awarded the Dean's Circle of Merit for Global Citizenship in recognition of her embodying what it means to be a global citizen by consistently engaging in global learning and intercultural dialogue through multiple study abroad trips to China, as well as two internships with the U.S. Department of State, both within our borders and abroad in the Philippines. Mabel says her proudest accomplishment at USF was representing USF and the Gilman Scholarship as a panelist for the Hispanic Association of Colleges and Universities 34th Annual Conference. She plans to teach English abroad in Spain for a year before applying to American University's School of International Service in order to obtain a master's degree in foreign policy. Congratulations, Mabel. Jasraj Pruthi is our next graduate. Jasraj is taking his degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in public health on the Tampa campus. His honors college thesis reviewed just how consistent and accurate flashbulb memories really are, since they are commonly thought to be very vivid and accurate. He showed that in fact, flashbulb memories tend to be inconsistent and only moderately accurate. His favorite honors experience was attending the Judy Genshaft Honors College building ceremony, where he says he was able to meet so many important people and talk to them regarding their accomplishments and his own future endeavors. He plans to go to medical school to achieve his goal of becoming a physician. Congratulations, Jasraj. Our next graduate is Ibrahim Rahman. He's receiving his degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in biomedical anthropology on the Tampa campus. His capstone research project examined various studies navigating the link between autism, its symptomology, and treatment options, as well as the connection between genetic factors and the environment. Ibrahim says that his proudest accomplishment at USF was volunteering for various organizations and making a positive difference in the lives of others. He plans to start a nonprofit organization that will help youth with special needs who are dealing with both health and mental health challenges. The organization will focus on creating a community that will empower youth through the guidance of life coaches, therapists, and healthcare professionals. Ibrahim plans to simultaneously pursue his lifelong dream of becoming a neurologist. Congratulations, Ibrahim. Next is Darius Reese, who is completing his degree in microbiology on the Tampa campus. Darius's honors college thesis treated mantle cell lymphoma cells with specific drugs in increasing concentrations. He found that these drugs did decrease cell growth in mantle cell lymphoma cells and could be viable treatment options in the future. Dara says his proudest accomplishment was receiving the USF Health Culture Coin for volunteering at the USF COVID testing site. Next, he plans to take a gap year, become an EMT, and apply to MD, PhD programs in the next cycle. Congratulations, Darris. Our next graduate is Katherine Reisdorf. 
Catherine's taking her degree in microbiology on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project focused on COVID-19 guideline compliance within the Honors College community based on several factors. Catherine's favorite Honors experience was joining the Honors College Student Council Volunteer Committee. She says it made her feel like she was part of a tight-knit community that was there for her when she was away from home. Catherine is planning to teach English abroad before starting medical school in 2023. Her goal is to become an infectious disease and tropical medicine doctor and work in underdeveloped parts of the world. Congratulations, Catherine. Mariah Lynn Riley is receiving her degree in political science with a minor in public service and leadership on the Tampa campus. Her capstone project digitized visual and print artifacts to add to the collection of the Gulf Beaches Historical Museum online archive of historical artifacts. Mariah says her favorite honors experience was visiting Egmont Key. Riding a boat, spending a day in the sun, and learning the history of the island is something that will stick with her forever. Mariah will be attending the University of Richmond's School of Law in Virginia to pursue her dream of becoming an attorney. Congratulations, Mariah. Our next graduate is Angela Roberts. Angela is completing her degree in biomedical sciences on the Tampa campus. For her capstone research project, she focused on how incorporating environmental elements into the design of nursing homes can improve residents' health. Angela's proudest accomplishment at USF was mentoring incoming freshmen as a part of the USF National Merit Scholarship Program. She says she was able to meet many diverse individuals and help them acclimate to their new environment. Angela will start medical school at the University of South Dakota's Sanford School of Medicine in the fall. Congratulations, Angela. Next is Will Roberts, who is taking his degree in chemistry on the Tampa campus. Will's capstone project designed a historical exhibit for the Gulf Beaches Historical Museum in Paso Grill, Florida. Will's proudest accomplishment at USF was participating in early stage drug discovery research with Dr. James Leahy. He says the experience has greatly elevated his research skills and prepared him to tackle his future endeavors. Will plans to start medical school this summer and will become either an orthopedic surgeon or an anesthesiologist. As a physician, he wants to pursue opioid research and discover less addictive painkillers. Congratulations, Will. Ashley Rocks is receiving her degree in history on the Tampa campus. Her capstone research project looked at the effect of mass shootings on the communities in which they occurred. Ashley says her proudest accomplishment at USF was obtaining leadership roles in the clubs that she belonged to. Ashley plans to attend medical school and ultimately work as a forensic pathologist or emergency physician. She would, she says, also like to own cats. Congratulations, Ashley. Our next graduate is Lillianne Rodriguez. Lillianne's degree, completed on the Tampa campus, is in political science with a minor in criminology. For her honors college thesis, she conducted interviews with local community leaders in the university area to better understand the needs of the community in addressing crime and their interactions with the criminal justice system. Lillianne says her favorite honors experience has been getting to know honors faculty, advisors, and students. She plans to take a year off from school and work in Spain as an English language teaching assistant. Congratulations, Lillianne. Valerie Rossello is our next graduate. She's taking her degree in psychology on the St. Petersburg campus. Valerie's honors college thesis examines the links between interparental conflict and the emotional security of children by reviewing research and previous studies. Valerie's favorite honors experience was learning and growing academically in such a prestigious program that she says has been an amazing experience all on its own. She plans to start the Rehabilitation and Mental Health Counseling Program at USF Tampa. Congratulations, Valerie. Her next graduate is Julie Rospero. Her degree is in Integrative Animal Biology with a minor in History, completed on the Tampa campus. Her capstone project explored how current events shape people's lives. Julie says her favorite honors experience was getting to have an outdoor seminar in her AOK class with Professor Curry. 
Julie plans to go to veterinary school and ultimately practice veterinary medicine in a mixed animal clinic. Congratulations, Julie. Caitlin Roycraft is finishing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in history on the Tampa campus. Her Judy Genshaft Honors College thesis analyzed the current literature on multi-visit patients in the emergency department to determine the defining characteristics of those multi-visit patients on Medicare and determine factors that may have influenced those patients to return to the emergency department. Caitlin says her favorite honors experience was living in the Honors LLC in Summit during her freshman and sophomore years at USF. Caitlin will be entering the Master of Science program in Medical Sciences before going to medical school. Her ultimate goal is to become an emergency medicine physician. Congratulations, Caitlin. Next is Marissa Rozier. Marissa is completing her degree in mathematics with a minor in astronomy on the Tampa campus. Her capstone project explored the effect that a learning environment can have on how well a student learns. Marissa is another of our King O'Neill scholars, graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. She says that her favorite honors experience was studying abroad in Florence for six weeks thanks to an honors college scholarship. Marissa is planning to get married and travel to Japan. After that, she will look for a career where she'll be happy and able to help others. Congratulations, Marissa. Our final graduate for this ceremony is Jacqueline Roof. She's receiving her degree in early childhood education on the Tampa campus. Jacqueline completed a capstone project in which she examined American political systems. Her favorite honors experience was studying abroad in Germany in the summer of 2019. She says it was her first experience leaving the country and she absolutely adored it. Jacqueline plans to work with a team of early childhood educators at the USF Preschool for Creative Learning. Congratulations, Jacqueline. This concludes our ceremony today. Once again, congratulations to each and every one of you on your remarkable achievements. We look forward to hearing about further accomplishments in the coming months and years, so please stay in touch with your Honors College. Another way to stay in touch with your university is through the USF Alumni Association, which today is providing each of you with a complimentary one-year membership. In closing, on behalf of President Corral, former President Judy Genshaft, and the entire Judy Genshaft Honors College, congratulations and go Bulls! <laughs>